Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to mask moving objects in Final Cut Pro. No, not again. Guys, it's not a literal mask. Now I'm gonna share with you how to use a draw mask and keyframes to create a white transition and to put text behind an object. And then we'll take a look at the motion tracker and use that to blur an image or to bring focus to our subject. Let's go check that out. So we're here in Final Cut Pro and we're gonna take a look at how to mask a moving object. The first one we're gonna try is a wipe. So for the example today, I have a person walking by, you can see right here, their leg crosses the entire frame. So you can do the same effect with any object or person that moves across the frame. So let's find the spot right where, right here. We're gonna go ahead and press M and that's gonna create a marker. Then we're gonna lift from storyline. We've got this gap now at the bottom. And then we're gonna close this gap until we have it lined up with the mark here. Then let's pull up the effects. And we're gonna bring in a draw mask. Drop that onto this one here. And now it wants us to add some control points. But before we do that, we wanna give ourselves a little bit of room to move around here. So I'm gonna bring up the inspector. But then first we wanna do this. We want to zoom out. We're at 55%, let's go to 25%. And we are going to start our mask out here. So this isn't quite what we want. We wanted to click on invert mask. That way what's inside of here will disappear from this top clip and the bottom clip will, will come through. So very important to save yourself a ton of work, make sure to hit the keyframe. We're gonna hit the keyframe on control points as well as the position and just for kicks, let's just click them all. Now, as we go through this clip, we're gonna just gonna use the arrow keys left and right. So we're gonna move right. So you'll notice there's no longer keyframes here. If we went back, we'd see, okay, the keyframes are there. But when we move forward one, there's no keyframes. But the moment we move one of these, it creates a keyframe for us. So we're gonna go ahead and move this just like that. And let's bring in a little feathering. All right, we'll go to the next clip and drag our control points across. Adjust it so it's just right. All right, press the right arrow again. And here we've got another spot we can do here. For the sake of time, I'm gonna finish this all out with a, with a zoom. Zoom, zoom. So we've got this framed in so that way that transition fully completes and we're then just on to this next frame. So let's play that back, see how that effect looks. Look at that. Now you can go back in and fine tune all you want. Lots of finessing can be done. Um, a lot of it to do with the, the feathering and the fall off. So that looks a little better right there. Now that we adjusted that feather, let's play that back. And nice. Cool. All right, that worked. Now you can mimic this exact effect with a with uh, putting something in front of the camera as you're filming. So even something like a cell phone, just to have it block the camera and cross the entire frame, uh, it, it can create for a really great effect, really fun effect, and also leave you with not having to do so many keyframes and, and adjustments in, in, in post edit. And that can help you so that you don't have to do as many keyframes going around something that's like a, a, a jagged edge. Um, and it can add a lot of spice to your video. All right, next up, we're gonna drop a title into this here. So if you don't see it coming up, you can search for custom. We're gonna drag this in, but we're not gonna drag it to the title. We now have a new feature here on Final Cut, which is the motion tracker. So let's go ahead and use this to our advantage. I'm just gonna track to this building here. Let's analyze that. Always important to analyze it before we continue. And then we'll click on transform and move this title. Now I believe this is Dubai. The description told me so. So we're gonna go ahead and create a title here. Now we've got our title all set. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold option and drag up this clip. And as you can see, it's now on top, so it's blocking everything below it. 
but we are gonna mask it out. So let's go ahead, we'll try a shape mask this time. Looks like this transform uh, menu's open. Let's get rid of that. Let's also get rid of that piece over there. All right, and we wanna make this a square. So we can drag this, this changes the curvature. And we're gonna bring this in here. And because this building is kind of at an angle, do something like that. Bring it on this side. And we wanna bring that feathering down because this is a straight edge there. So you just wanna make sure that you're at the beginning of the clip. So we gotta make just a slight adjustment here. And then we're gonna hit some keyframes. So we wanna make sure that we have these selected, the rotation, scale, all that. That way it locks those keyframes right on this moment. All these values are gonna stay for this clip. And for this clip, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. I'm gonna to go to 200%. That way we can see the fine details around this title. And you'll notice the keyframe over here where the first one is yellow, showing the keyframe is marked. When we go to the next frame, it's gonna show a grayed out. But the moment we change something, it comes back. So we'll go ahead a little bit and then move this back. You can either do one frame at a time or do a couple frames at a time. Usually it works out smoother that uh, if you skip like say three frames at a time, the animation, the motion feels a lot more natural. Okay, let's zoom out and play that back. Very nice. And if you find that you see any mistakes in there, like, like slight movements that just don't quite look right, you can always zoom in, make some adjustments, find the keyframe where there's an issue, and do a little bit of troubleshooting. I move so quick you couldn't possibly mask me. Now, that may be true, but it's also true that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, so we're gonna continue with these masking effects, but we're gonna mask some faces. All right, so because we have this new motion tracker tool, let's say this person here, this one in the group, maybe didn't have a, a release form to show their face. So we're gonna drag and drop pixelate here. And right now, and then we're gonna click analyze. Looks like it tracked his face really well. This looks like the tracker selected, so we can click on shape. We can actually change how we want that feathered. Let's zoom in a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and click done. We'll go back to the fit view. We'll watch this back and see how well it tracked. Excellent, so we masked out his face with that pixelate effect. So we're gonna do something right now to add some focus to this runner here. We're gonna go ahead and drag a color board to her face. Let's go ahead and let it analyze and then we're gonna unlink it from the shape. So right now, if we change the shape, it would also change the shape of the tracker. So we wanna unlink those. Let's go to the color board. So we have two options from here. We can change the inside of the mask and the outside of the mask. So to start, I wanna go on the outside of the mask and we're gonna bring down the shadows, a little bit of the mid-tones, maybe keep the brights in there a bit. So we're gonna bring the focus away from everything out here and focus on this runner. Make sure that feather is there. I think what we're gonna do is just leave her alone, but the, all the outside, we will adjust and make the changes like we did here. All right, that's looking fantastic. We're going to sharpen, add the shape mask, make sure it's set to the face tracker. Yeah, if we do it too much, it's gonna be outrageous. We're just gonna add just a bit, just to make sure that she sticks out from the rest. And then we'll go ahead and add in the Gaussian blur. And we'll do the same thing. We'll click on the shape mask button, add shape mask, come up here to the tracker, select the face tracker. All right, so we got her all blurry, but we actually wanna invert that. So let's go to the mask option here and click invert mask. And we're gonna drag this way down. Like we want it to just be barely noticeable that it's it, the rest of it's blurred. Let's play this back here. So with the motion tracker, some masking, we were able to bring focus to the subject. All right, we'll turn that effect on and off. Well, look at that. So we drew our audience's eyes to the part of the frame that we wanted them to focus on. So we use masks, 
motion tracker, keyframes, to create some really cool stuff. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Slay, queen, slay. Now, you don't have to be royalty to get access to a free gift. It's a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below to get your free gift.